welcome to Input Output Campus. So today we will discuss about a coding question for placement. And the question is running sum of 1D array. So you will be given an array nums. So this is the name of the array. We define a running sum of an array as running sum equals to sum of num0 to num i. So if you see here, this is the input array. And the running sum means the first element of the array will be as it is and next we will add this first element to the second element that is 3 plus 1 and that will be 4. So 4 will be the second element in our output and next we will add this 4 to this next element that is 4 plus 2. So 4 plus 2 equals to 6. So which is the next element in our output. So next we will add this 6 plus this 10. So 6 plus 10 equals to 16. So this will be our next element in our output. Similarly we will add 16 plus 1 which will be 17 and 17 will be the last element in our output and this is the running sum. So we can solve this problem and you know, write the code very easily. So how to do that first the first element will be printed as it is then we'll add this first element to the next element and store the result inside this position into this position okay so 3 plus 1 will be 4 and 4 will be stored into this position next we will add this 4 to the next element that is 4 plus 6 and we will store it into this position so 4 plus to a 6 and 6 will be stored into this position. Similarly, 6 plus 10 equals to 16. 16 will be stored this position. Similarly, 16 plus 1 equals to 17. 17 will be stored in this position. Okay, so let's write the code. So, first of all, write the basic format of the C as include read slash standard C dot h using namespace standard int main and inside the main function write a vector and its type is integer and the name of the vector is suppose nums and store all the elements inside the vector so let's copy it from here and paste it here so now we need a function where we will do the operation so the name of the function is suppose a running sum so inside this function pass this vector nums and before this main method will write the same function that is running sum and the return type will be vector because it will return a vector okay so write here vector and its type is integer then write the name of the function that is running sum and inside this write vector int ampersand nums okay inside this write a for loop so for int i equals to 1 i less than nums dot size i plus plus now inside this for loop write nums of i equals to nums of i plus nums of i minus one so see here friends we have started the i from one okay so in the i position of the nums the sum of nums of i and nums of i minus one will be stored that is if i equals to 1 in the position 1 the nums of 1 and nums of 0 will be added and that will be stored into the nums of 1 okay so in this way using only this for loop we can solve this problem so finally we will return return the nums from here so it will return a vector so we have to store the result inside a vector and so for the right here of vector 
and its type is integer okay and the name of the vector is suppose answer now we have to frame the element so to frame the element I write a for loop for auto i equals to answer dot begin i not equals to answer dot end i plus plus and we will print each and every element so to write here c out asterisk i okay and after printing each and every element give a space here okay so let's run it and you can see our output is perfect first three then four is three plus one four and four plus two six so six plus ten 16 16 plus 1 17 so our output is perfect so you can check this program by changing the inputs okay so if you enjoyed this video please like the video and share it with your friend okay so thank you for watching this video see you in the next video till then take care